Hello there, everybody, and happy Saturday. Uh, at least it is in my part of the world. Um, as I had mentioned before in my opening video, we are going to start with some very simple, straightforward configurations on how you can get from Debian uh, testing uh, to uh, SID, the experimental um, version. So what I've did is I've created a couple of Debian uh, testing base installs and this one here that you're seeing and it's actually running is the is a, a very fresh very vanilla um, Debian testing installation so what I've done is I've actually went out to Debian and downloaded the latest greatest um, version uh, that is uh, non-free um, I'm trying to keep it since my my systems have the have newer hardware within the last couple of years. I want to make sure that I have um, every conceivable driver. Um, I I am very much into the open and uh, open source, the free software. However, there is it's just logical that there are going to be times that you're going to need the um, the non-free drivers, and that's just the way it is. Um, so that being said, I'll go ahead and make this a full screen. <clears throat> and we will get uh, get busy. So uh, on the, on a very fr a very fresh installation of Debian testing, you're going to be presented with just um, if you choose to. Obviously, uh, I've chosen the since this is basically going to be a DWM installation. I've chosen nothing but the basic necessities for this. So your first installation will, or your first login will be uh, via TTY. And this is pretty much all you're going to get. Uh, you'll see that it is definitely a, a virtual. So the first thing that I have done was, that we will do is we're going to do an update of the current system. This won't take very long. This was just done a couple of a couple of days back, maybe a week ago at best. And we'll see that there's certainly not um, a lot of um, packages that have been uh, installed. Once this is done, the next thing that we're going to be taking a look at, that we're going to be doing, is we're going to be grabbing. Um, we're going to be setting up the uh, the repos to actually allow you to install SID. <clears throat> a couple of key things that you'll want to keep in mind when you're installing SID: um, it will not have any security updates. Um, and what I always do is I always end up adding a couple of tweaks to that uh, file. Of course, I know they're saying this is nano. I didn't bother installing. I wanted to keep this very, very vanilla. This is comes with the default installation. So we're going to use that. So you're going to see that this, the only thing that has really changed is that I actually inst uh, added the Debian SID repos there. So what we'll do is, first off, we'll clean it up a little bit. We don't need these things here. We're going to comment out the testing branch uh, to keep, a, keep it all in blocks. We can dump the following here and we'll enable these and I like like I said I like to keep things very simple somewhat documented uh, basically I follow the same mantra that DT does he likes to keep things um, documented uh, within the, uh, the files whenever possible I'm not quite as, as anal as, as what DT would be and some other folks but I just like to keep enough in there um, so that I know what's going on. So now that that's done, here again we'll do the same thing. We'll do an update. And you'll see that it's actually hitting the unstable branch. Again, since this was a net install with very, very few applications installed by default, you'll see that this has very little to actually upgrade.
And in future episodes, I'll show you um, how you can bring your kernel up to a newer version if you choose to using a third party. Licorice is what I use on my um, daily driver for my kernel. Keep it reasonably up to date. Make use again because the, the systems that I have are, are somewhat newer except for the server. Server is a, it's an old compact server. Uh, it is literally a, well it's a convertible really. It's not so much a, a server but it's used as one. So let's see let's go ahead and add something I, I've learned this what I'm going to show about to show you now is kind of back from the old from the from my days when I early on when I used to run fedora and sent more sent than anything else um, there's a command called update DB and that's in that particular package and it's kind of like just simply doing a um, a reboot. It just up the, updates the uh, the database that's out there. So now that this is done, we can simply do a, and we can see that there we go. We are now running. Well, that says bullseye. I forgot we need to do a reboot. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. I should bring that up to date. And let's see what we got. Yeah. That's right, it's set for the latest and greatest version that will be released, which is version 11. Um, so as time goes on, this will be called um, SID, if I'm not mistaken. But since we're that close to actually having uh, Debian 11 released, this is what we do get. So let's go ahead and do um, HTOP. Actually, I like bash top better. And let's go ahead and also install Neil Fetch. Yeah, it would help if I learned how to spell, wouldn't it? Okay. This shouldn't take too terribly long. It's a reasonably quick VM. Reasonably fast machine. And we'll get some, some basic stats for this. And again, um, we won't take you through actual installations of operating systems, more the updates, the upgrades, and eventually into, uh, we're gonna, we will be replicating what my daily driver is, which again is SID with Licorice as the kernel, um, running DWM and some patches. Um, hopefully it will go at least as smooth as um, the Linux cast, Matt, assume, shout out to him. And a shout out to another one that I happen to follow, which is, um, of course, there's DT, which is almost a mandatory, and uh, the uh, um, Terminal for Life, which I think is now renamed for, uh, yeah, I think it is Terminal for Life right now. Uh, those three guys are the main people that I follow. Oh, and Linux Dabbler, another shout out to him. I picked up quite a few tips from from Mike also um, so definitely check those guys out um, outstanding content um, there's not a lot of BS that's in involved there and um, they stay to the point alright let's take a look at what we have here so as you can see you know it's running pretty smooth obviously for a server if you will if you wanted to you could actually go with the uh, off into the server realm with this basic installation um, again um, I, I did uh, dabble um, for a long while in arch and a couple of the vari uh, variants um, arch labs to be more specific I've looked at Manjaro before early on I know that you can rice it to do whatever you and make it look at whatever you want it to look like I just never felt comfortable running that operating system. Arco is a good um, system also, but to me it's 
you know, out of the box. Um, and I know here again, it's another scenario where you can, you know, well, I think it's Arco D, I think it is, that you can basically have yourself a fresh um, arch installation without all the whistles and bells. Um, to me, it's just too over the top as far as uh, modifications go. Um, but again, out of the box. And if I'm going to take my time and rice something um, to my likings um, with nothing, not much installed initially off the bat, it's if it's not going to be um, Vanilla Arch itself, uh, my next choice is Arch Labs because they do a very minimal, very, very minimal uh, tweaking of that system. And that's about as close as to um, Vanilla Arch as you're going to get. And plus a heck of a bunch of, um, heck of a nice group of guys out there in uh, Arch Labs land. So let's take a look at um, NeoFetch. Mm, there we go. Like I said, very, very small amount of applications installed. Um, and with that, we're going to wrap up this video. Um, so keep an eye out for the next one. We'll actually take you through some of the base applications that I have installed by default including inst installing um, X and then um, once that's installed we'll look into the DWN so with that have yourself a great day and we'll see you next time